All right, work progresses. Uh, quick video here. Uh, I found a second problem with my LDO kit. Uh, the first problem early on. Uh, these right here. There are four of these triangular brackets that hold this extrusion to the frame. And per the documentation, the insets for these two holes are different. One is meant to screw into the extrusion, and one is meant to install into, or sorry, the extrusion that the bed bolts to. The other one is meant to install into the frame extrusion. Three of these that I got in my kit did not have a different inset for the bolts. They were all the same. This one has the inset. So it looked like LDO maybe is changing over to equal insets, which I think is fine because this was, I don't know, why would you do it this way? I'm not sure. But I haven't put a bed on, so I haven't done any leveling or anything. I'm just hoping that the one side that had a different triangular piece, uh, it ended up being the same height as the other ones. Uh, that was the first problem I found with the kit. This is the only the second problem I found and I'm pretty far along here. This USB cable. So uh, the octopus board has a USB-C connector and this cable that was included in the kit comes off at an angle um, because that's USB-C you know that could be left or right, however you plug it into the USB port, because USB-C is obviously a reversible plug. Um, however, this USB-A here, uh, you can't reverse it, right? It's got thin on the top and thick on the bottom. So if this cable was like that, that would work fine, but it's not. It's like this. So... Uh, that's going to put that as the lowest hanging piece of this. Uh, there, yeah, that's not right. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna have to buy my own USB cable, I guess. Here is the manual, the official LDO kit wiring manual. And you can see it's got angled USB cord that goes down, comes up, and then goes into a USB port that has that plug coming off that side. Uh, I don't know if that's called a right-hand angle or a left-hand angle. I'd have to look at a diagram to see, but obviously that keeps that cable flush with the Raspberry Pi, whereas this one, when you take into account bending that wire over, that's that's a good inch that that is sticking up away from the Raspberry Pi. That's, that's the wrong connector. That shouldn't have been in the kit like that. Like I said, that would have been fine. Or like they show with the cable coming out at an angle, whether the bottom here or the top, either one would have been okay, but this is not good. In fact, straight might have even worked because it would have gone straight and then I could have just run the cable down there and into the channel here. This is like about the only way you could have messed it up so that <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's not usable, so. Uh, yeah, so there we go. Um, it looks like I will be ordering a USB-C to USB-A cable.